Hello everyone and welcome back to another screencast on geometry and measure and today we're looking at volume of a sphere. So a couple of things, we need to go over what volume is and we need to introduce ourselves to what a sphere is. So volume, hopefully we already know this, volume is the amount of space a 3D shape takes up. So we look at this in centimetres cubed because we've got three things multiplying together a lot of the time and we can work out volume uh, in a normal shape by adding up all the little cubes, like almost sugar cubes, one centimetre sugar cubes or blocks, and we would count them up. Now with a sphere, a sphere is a round shape, okay? It's a perfectly round solid figure. It's basically a ball, if we think about it like that, okay? And this is what it looks like. So here we go, this is how we work out the volume of a sphere. The big key here is the formula. The volume of a sphere equals 4 thirds of pi times r cubed. So we're definitely, definitely going to need to use our calculator. So the buttons that we're going to need to use will be this button here, the fraction button. Okay, we're going to need to use the uh, pi button, which is shift and then down this one. And we're going to need to use our cubed button, which is the one just here as well. Okay, we can actually use this one, but because it's already one on our calculator, some of your calculators might not have this cube button. So you'll need to use this button here that you'll find on yours, possibly. So let's give this a go now. If we know that formula, then in reality, we're going to be absolutely fine. So let's put all this information into our calculator. We all we have to do is take away the radius and input our radius uh, data. So here we go. Let's do that now. We should have 4 over 3 times by pi times by 2 to the power of 3. So to get that, we would use this button and we'd go 4, uh, move that down and 3, move it across times, uh, then we go shift and pi and then times, and we go, boom, this button here, and you can change it to two uh, to the power of three. And then once we've done that, we would press equals. Okay, so now we're gonna do that now. So volume equals two over three, times by pi, times by two to the power of three, and our volume equals 33.51 centimeters cubed. Just remember that is really important, the centimetres cubed. So area was centimetres squared and volume is centimetres cubed. So without further uh, sort of pausing for you, I would like you guys and girls to go and try this one. So hopefully you've copied out my example from just before. And all you're doing now is just changing the two for the five on this occasion. Okay, so we're taking away the R, we're inputting the five, away you go. So hopefully you find this really, really easy. We're going to have volume equals uh, four over three, times in by pi, times in by five cubed. We put all that in, we press the equals button, and we should have got volume equals 50, that's uh, 523. 0.6 centimeters cubed. Now, they're really, really simple. They're really, really simple. The only thing that they can do is they can throw in the dia diameter rather than radius. So I'm not going to tell you how to do this, but I am going to expect you to give it a go on your own. Uh, don't get confused. This is not the radius. This is the diameter. So use your common sense and try and work it out for yourself. So hopefully you've had enough time to run through that now. Let's put the take away the R and put in our value, which hopefully you realize was three. And we've got our four over three times by pi times by three cubed. And our answer should have been volume equals 113.1 centimeters cubed. It really is as easy as that. Here goes two quiz questions for you. I'd like you to pause the video, give it a go, and your answers should be to two decimal places. So make sure that if you've got more decimals after them, you just chop them off and round them to two decimal places. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see if you've got them correct. 
So firstly, we popped in our four cube because it was half of eight. And we got our volume of 268.08 centimeters cubed. And on this one, it is our radius. So we're going to pop that in there. So we end up with 3053.63 centimeters cubed. This is the formula. There's no getting around. We must just remember the formula. Okay, so we've got a formula for lots and lots of things. We've got a formula for squares, areas of squares. We've got our formula for volume of cuboids. Uh, we've got lots and lots of lots and lots of equations that help us. We have to remember this. That formula, we've got to remember it. So get practicing that formula. So when you get a question on spheres, you know what you're doing. As always, go and write a revision card on this topic. Uh, or contact me for some electronic versions. And as always, again, it's been great helping you with your maths today. Hopefully you feel really confident and that you feel like you're getting better and better because that's what it's all about. Until next time.